Apple's expected to introduce a new generation of iPhones this fall, and there have been several feature leaks from reputable sources that we'll cover right now. Similar to last year, the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus models aren't expected to feature any major design changes. Instead, Apple's likely to make several incremental improvements based on leaked dimensions. The 15 and 15 Plus will have the same designs as the 14 and 14 Plus, an aluminum frame with flat edges and a glass front and back. This means iPhone 14 cases should fit the new 15 models. But one big difference will be the transition away from Lightning to USB-C, marking the first time Apple's changed the iPhone's port in 11 years, although the change wasn't exactly voluntary. Instead, regulatory requirements by the EU pushed Apple to make the change. The benefit for users is that we'll be able to use the same charger to power our MacBooks, iPads, iPhones, and other electronics like the Switch or a candle. And thanks to Apple lowering the cost of the Dynamic Island component, it'll now be included in the entry-level 15 and 15 Plus models instead of being exclusive to the Pro and Pro Max. And just like 14 Pro, the 15 will feature in a 16 chip, putting its performance on par with last year's iPhone Pro models. And thanks to a more power-efficient OLED display driver chip built on a 28 nanometer process, all the new 15 models are expected to have even better battery life than last year. And just like every other generation, there'll be new color options for the 15 and 15, plus likely dark pink and light blue along with the standard white, black and product red. They'll likely receive the biggest change of all models, a new design. The device's overall size will be 4 mm thicker than the 14 Pro, with small reductions in height and width, which could make the device feel a little more comfortable in the hand, especially considering the new shape of its frame, which will feature soft rounded edges instead of the sharp edges we've seen in previous generations. We already know about several upcoming iPhone 15 features from unauthorized sources, including as the new periscopic lens and Type-C port. But this time we obtain a handful of indications and clues about the next iPhone 15 from the recent WWDC event and other sources. So let's get started and see how many of the rumors and leaks we've all been hearing are true. First, it was speculated that Dynamic Island would be included in the next iPhone 15 models, including non-pro variants. Many suggest it isn't likely since a full metal chassis could make it difficult for antenna and radio signals to pass through so the 15 Pros could still have a glass back like the standard models. But even so, the use of titanium should reduce the device's overall weight by 8 to 12 percent, which would be especially helpful for the larger Pro Max model. And all the dynamic island and display will remain unchanged. Its bezel will become even thinner. Currently, the 14 Pro models have bezels that measure 2.17 millimeters, but the 15 Pros will reduce this by 28%, measuring just 1.55 millimeters thick. That would set a new record for smartphone bezel thinness. On the sides, you'll find completely new solid-state volume, power, and action buttons, which will use taptic engines to simulate clicks without the buttons actually moving. According to Apple's most current official video about the Vision Pro, the headset will include a unique button dedicated to the camera only instead of hunting for a camera app. You may simply tap that button and begin recording photographs and movies. Similarly, Apple may employ this technology and iPhone 15 Prom models. It is also believed that the cameras on the iPhone 15 Prom models will be enhanced, allowing them to produce more detailed shots and films that reveal gorgeous angles of images. This will improve image quality and allow you to shoot 3D photos. iPhones already have a built-in LiDAR scanner that can be used to take 3D pictures, but only through specific apps. The button will be customizable with a variety of actions like mute and unmute, opening the camera, turning on the flashlight, activating do not disturb, locking, screen orientation, and more. This new solid state button layout will likely increase water and dust resistance and improve long-term durability. And for the first time in several generations, Apple will add a feature exclusive to the most expensive Pro Max model. It'll be a periscope lens system that'll deliver six times optical zoom compared to the 15 Pro's three times zoom. 
The reason it'll only be on the larger Pro Max is because of the extra space a periscope lens system requires inside the device. The Pro models are expected to also feature a new A17 chip, which will be Apple's first built on a 3 nanometer process, improving processing performance by 10 to 15% while reducing power consumption by up to 30%. Apple plans to use Qualcomm modem chips for the new devices, as its own modem chips that are in development aren't quite ready. Plus, we are expecting new UWB chips for integration with the Vision Pro headset. The standard iPhone 15 models will get an upgrade to the A16 chip that was in the iPhone 14 Pro models, while the iPhone 15 Pro models will use faster and more efficient 3 nanometer A17 chips. Pro models are also expected to see an upgrade to titanium frames, slimmer bezels, and some minor design changes with more curved device edges, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max is also expected to get periscope lens technology for enhanced zoom capabilities. Apple might raise the price for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, according to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, who believes Apple could price the iPhone 15 Pro starting at $1,099. The iPhone 15 Pro Max would be priced starting at $1,199 if Pew's prediction is accurate. Another analyst has suggested the iPhone 15 Pro Max could have a starting price that is up to $200 more expensive than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. No pricing increase is expected for the standard iPhone 15 models, and the entry-level iPhone 15 model should be priced starting at $799. The exclusive new color for 15 Pro models is rumored to be dark red, something we've never seen on iPhone before. All prices in the US will likely increase due to the titanium frame, solid state buttons, and a 17 chip, but no specific price point has been revealed. So those are the rumored changes coming to the next generation of iPhones this fall. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.